Hello, James. What's up? How you guys doing? Good to see you. <laughs> uh, we got to ask you first, how's the hamstring? Great. Yeah? yeah I'm, I'm, I'm fully healthy and I'm excited. Uh, last year was just very, very weird. You know, just everything that I, I went through individually uh, in Houston and then kind of not preparing my body and whatever, but then kind of getting thrown in the fire and having to play, you know, a lot of minutes, which I'm usually built for, but um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm fresh and I'm ready to go. We're, we're excited. I love the big smile on your face because that just makes me think <laughs> that a lot of wins are coming this team's way. Well. Yeah. Thanks. James, when, about how long did it take for you to get the hamstring back in a place where you were able to ramp it up the way you normally would before the start of a, a training camp? I think, uh, what has it been, two and a half months? Yeah. You know, uh, and, and I use this entire summer for my body, my body, and just kind of just, you know, top to bottom, making sure I'm strong. And uh, all the places that I need to be strong in to where I'm able to be durable and uh, not have to go through that again. Uh, last year was very, very difficult for me um, with the injury just because I have, I've never experienced that throughout my entire career. So uh, I love the hoop. I love to be out there. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I was out there, what game, in, in the playoffs, you know. Off, On one leg? Off a grade two injury, uh, grade two hamstring, which usually it takes two and a half months to, to recover. So um, I'm... I'm I don't like talking about it. It's over with. I'm healthy and I'm ready to go. James, we're putting it behind us. Yeah. We're putting it behind yeah. us because I know we're, we're focus, focusing on the injury. And, of course, uh, it affected the postseason. But throughout the course of the weird year you're talking about last year, there was stretches of brilliance. And for us to be able to watch how you so quickly integrated and acclimated yourself to this team, to yeah. what this team needed, uh, what was that process like for you just in understanding how to orchestrate straight uh, this offense and this group and, and how you guys found so much success especially through the course of the regular season easy I've been doing it my entire career or for the most part um, to where I'm, I'm getting guys involved and making sure my teammates are better um, you know putting them in the right position so they can be successful and just, just the ultimate communication ultimate confidence that I'm, I try to feed and give give it to guys because uh, confidence is a huge factor in this game so um, I'm excited now we have a full year, you know, with training camp and uh, we have some, some guys that are, are very experienced and been through deep, deep playoff runs um, that we added to the team. So we get a full year of, of, of greatness and um, we just got to take it day by day. But I think for the guys, um, our approach and our mindset is um, we get better every single day. You know, James, uh, watching, you know, the league for a long time, watching you, we knew you influence winning and you make players better, right? Yeah. But but it, when you see, when you get to watch you play every day, it, it is a different experience. And I think we both found ourselves multiple times being like, my goodness, James Harden really elevates a team. He impacts winning. And we see you also impact guys careers you get them paid right that's what you do so and i haven't got anything i want i want a dinner date or something i'm getting Clint glasses. capella's got to get you like something 90 million <laughs> he didn't take me to dinner not one time but so <laughs> my my question is one of those guys i look at and i wonder well what what could this partnership turn out being is nick claxton yeah. when you see him his ability and knowing your skill set how you kind of enhance the pieces around you what do you think about him and, and where you can elevate his game he reminds me of clint but just with more skill mm. offensively. Um, Young uh, listens, works extremely hard. He worked He worked out a few times with me this summer, but he has it and he gets it. Um, and then he's around, you know, a great group of guys that are very, very experienced to where he has no choice but to fall in line. But, um, you know, the sky's a limit, limit for him. You know, he works hard every single day. He gets it. And we've kind of built that connection, um, you know, last year. And this year you'll see a lot. He got a lot better. Uh, James, we're listening to you talk and, and talk about the complimentary players and, and other guys and, and even your skill set that you've been talking about, what you've done your entire life. But Sean Marks said this sitting here today earlier. He said it before that the one thing that really has stood out to him most was the leader yeah. that you are in having not known you that well prior to coming. Um, how integral does that become when you talk about some of these other players with the depth of the roster, with so many different guys that the lineups may change, uh, to make sure that everyone is able to understand the ebbs and the flows through the season to accomplish that ultimate goal? Uh, my leadership has always been there. I just, I don't, I'm like, kind of like quiet and to myself for the most part. You know, I don't really open up a lot, but as far as when I'm getting around, you know, my teammates and um, you know, I'm with them, I'm with them for uh, throughout the course of a year. 
and I'm very passionate about basketball. So uh, I feel like I have to open up and I have to be able to communicate, whether it's you know showing or you know using my words. And uh, something that I was you know doing in Houston, uh, me and my you know, trainer was you know, reading a book on uh, different ways to to you know have leaderships, and um, some players handle you know. Um, um, leaderships and, and, and the communication different. You know, you can't talk to players all the same way. There's there's different ways you have to approach different guys, and I I begin to learn that. You know, throughout the course of my career, I think that's why I'm able to communicate and and connect with so many guys because uh, you just got to talk to guys different. And uh, ultimately, if if they feel that connection with you, um, you'll make them a better player on the court. Now we saw James, uh, one of your running mates here, Kevin Durant, already re up for four more seasons after this year. Mm -hmm. Sean Marks has expressed confidence of you doing the same at yeah. some point in the near future. How do you look at the, the prospects of you signing a long-term extension here in Brooklyn? Of course, it's on my mind. You know, I've had multiple you know, talks with Sean and, and Joe and um, you know, I, I don't see myself anywhere else, honestly. You know, but I'm just taking it. You know, I'm taking my time with it. You know, there's no rush, and um, you know, I want to bring a championship to the city. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here. Uh, I'm sure Nets fans are, are thrilled to hear that. We are as well, since yeah. we have the pleasure of watching you on a game-in, game-out basis. What stood out to you most about this organization, coming to ha having been in Houston for as long as you had? Uh, what stood out most about this organization, about the group, uh, about Brooklyn in general? Uh, everybody's on the same page, and everybody has the same goal uh, from top to bottom. You know, it's about winning. It's about being competitive at the highest level, and it's about doing things the right way. Um, you know, my, my, I've been here with not even a year and the love and, and the support and and that you know if not even from you know the coaches or whatnot it's from uh the front office they've shown me like you know we're different and we, we want to communicate we want to make sure that everybody's involved um and we want to do what's right at all times so um it's been great you know communication like i keep harping on is, is very big for me and um they've been they've been doing an unbelievable job of that what was it like for you, James, getting back out on the floor with Kevin last season after all those years apart, being reunited as teammates? Yeah, <laughs> like a little kid. <laughs> when you got somebody like that, that caliber, man, who just makes the game look so easy, uh, you want to surround yourself with that. You know, you want to be on the court with, you know, with that every single night. Um, I came here, he got hurt for two, two and a half months. It was just, you know, it wasn't enough. So now, you know, we get to get enough. Um, and then Kyrie's the same way. Like, from afar, okay, we all know Kyrie's very, very good, very, very skilled. But seeing it night in and night out, it's like, all right, he's different. Mm -hmm. Like, he's elite. Uh, can score from any anywhere on the floor on anybody. So just being around that makes you excited and makes you want to come to work and get better um, every single day. Well, James, uh, we are so excited to watch you and this team and start this season. We thank you so much for the time here. Glad to hear you're feeling healthy and enjoy uh, training camp in San Diego. We'll see you soon enough. Appreciate it. Thank Pleasure. you, Jim.